Christina, hi. Hey. How are you? I'm doing pretty good despite this rough ass week I've had. You've had I know. Christina, I'm so so sorry to hear about your loss. Your dear little kitten. Yeah, so we've had okay? her for nearly 11 years now and uh Oh. You know what the story was? No. We Tell used me to about live in a house like right up by here, okay? the road. Yeah. Let and, me get set up. Uh, yeah. What happened was she came around and my dad started feeding her. Yeah. And that's always how it happens. No. No, Christina. Fed something bad? Is that what I'm understanding? Oh, no. That's usually what happens when you, like, feed a Like, when you feed a cat once, they always come back. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not, I wasn't understanding. Oh, it's okay. But uh, we took her in... We gave okay. her a bath, and she's she was stuck with us for like eleven years. And Frankie, who oh, oh. is underneath my covers right now, he absolutely loved and adored her. So I have my streaming cat in the background somewhere. Okay, I'm just he has his own emote. Okay, well that does straighten it away a little bit in my head, and I appreciate that, Christina. Really good to be with you, Christina, yeah. with like a whole bunch of A's. And you're also on Twitter at UHMM Christina with a K. And I'll type that information down here in the bottom in, in your information here. And can you please confirm your pronouns if you would like to? She, her. I force you. She, her. Perfect. Uh, uh, Christina, I'm. Uh, uh, do, you, do you go by Tina by, by anyone? Tina? My mom called, like, yeah. my family calls me Tina, but my oh, friends my call me Chris or Christy or whatever. Awesome. Mostly right. Chris. So, Chris, uh, what I'm going to do is I got to grab my coffee. I forgot that and my water and I'm going to I'm, I'm desperately in need of I'm, I'm, I'm extremely parched. You know what I mean? Um, yay. Thank you. Oh, look liquid at, ghost. Such a good <laughs> liquid ghost. Let's give liquid ghost a round of applause, everybody. Please clap. Are you going to let her out? No. Cats, you got to stay with me. I got my Yoshimi Aww. in here with me. It's okay. There she goes. Mickey okay. has gotten to the point where he wants to lay on my desk. Oh my god, I get that with both of them. Yeah, they want to lay right in and front of me. They're like, "Here's the little spot that I'm that you're not like using." Corner. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're like, "Here's a little spot you're not using," and I'm like, "Yes, I am." Get out of here. Yeah. Um. Christina. I would, like I would stream from like. If I, if I knew how good my customers, like, because I dog sit, like, for a lot of my cleaning customers and yeah. animal sit in general, if I knew how good their internet was, like, if maybe I should do, like, speed tests when I'm there, because yeah. I'm like, oh, it would be so good to stream on the go, sort of, mm -hmm. when I'm there. Definitely. You can, you can pull up, like, a speed test in your... On like a mobile get a, browser, get a or something. cord so I can hook up to the uh, to the modem or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Good to go. Fuck yeah, a uh, little Ethernet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely. If you can. Um, so, yeah. Know. Yes. Hi. Yes. Hi. There is <laughs> a lot going on, but like. Yeah. We were talking about Reagan, surprisingly. <laughs> about what? About Ronald Reagan. How Reagan. Still his, uh, America in a way. You've been getting into Reagan, like, on stream, you mean? Yeah, like, okay. ever since I watched the one, uh, Sydney Black, I watch a lot of content creators who would, like, do their makeup while talking okay. about, like, a important topic, clearly, because, mm -hmm. but, uh, in a way, it's almost as if we're never, ever going to recover from the damage that Ronald Wilson Reagan has inflicted upon yeah. the U.S. people. Reagan, I hate that guy. Mr. I'm going to protect Social Security. Oh, whoops, I'm going to take money out of Social Security in order to, you know, negate what I did with all the tax cuts I did for my friends. I remember I was watching your stream, I don't know, a week or two ago. And that inspired yeah. me to, to, to do the title of my stream that day, which was like, we're still living in Reagan's America, right? Like, we're still feeling the effects. Yep. I never understood and why Reagan's people world said the 80s was like a great time. Say that again. I'm sorry. I was speaking over you. Oh, I don't understand why people say that the 1980s was like such a great time. I'm like, music wise, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. 
but style. Yeah. It, yeah, and pop, but like Reagan being president, and of course, you know, the AIDS crisis. I'm like, yeah. and uh, the Tylenol poisoning, like all, oh, like so much stuff happened in the 80s. Yeah. And like, I got Labor. my knowledge from pop culture in like those decades from watching the I Love series on VH1. Yes. Those Same. were the best. That's how I learned things about the world. I, I learned things about the world in, in, in very stupid ways, like flags. Do you like flags? Go. It depends on the flag. All right. I'll teach you how to read flags, and, and then and then your opinion will change. Okay. All right. Maybe. <laughs> um, maybe you already know how to read flags. They never taught me. Did they teach you yeah, how to I read mean, flags? I, I, I was a Girl Scout. Fucking shit. I skipped. They skipped that. Oh, I'm so upset with myself right now. All right. Oh, no. So maybe you could teach me how to read flags. Would you like to do that sometime? I, yeah, I just, I'm big into flags. Yeah, where I, right. I was like, oh, Dan's back on his flagness. <laughs> Every day be flagging. Okay. Yeah. So Reagan, back to Reagan's America. If you'll allow me to, sometimes I do that. I'm sorry, my brain is wired like the like like it is. Um, still living in his America. He did the neoliberalisms, right? I didn't yeah. like that. I don't like I don't like neoliberalisms. Um, and uh, and bro- broke a lot of labor too. Yeah. Yeah. Broke up a lot of unions. Um, um, he wanted to abolish the Department of Education, but surprisingly enough, the teachers were like, "Fuck no!" And he I didn't was like, know that. I did not okay. know that. All right, I'm like, "Wow, you actually were afraid of teachers at one point." <laughs> teachers. But you busted every other union there was. Yeah. Um, also, too. I didn't know that. Go on, like, please. Yeah. The yeah, Iran keep teaching Contra me. is responsible, like tied to like the crack epidemic, which I did not know. Oh yeah, that was super was like, fascinating. Do you want to like lead us through that? Good one. So like they were selling, you know, I think what it was is that the Reagan administration was se- was actually saying, "Hey, here's cocaine, sell it back or whatever." And I'm like, "What? Wait!" And of course, many in the black community were, uh, you know, end up dealing or using. And they were the ones who got in trouble for it mm-hmm. in the end. Yeah. Not the not the uh, like the um, not anyone who was actually responsible for it. Like not a like the only people. What was it? Who got who? Who's there was only three people that took any responsibility for the Iran Contra affair. Yeah. Only three. Oh. God, but what were, that's what okay, were that's their okay. names? And that's the thing. We don't I'm know their to names. Remember, but I, that, I'm, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying we don't know their names. We should know their names. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's how that's how bad I am. I'm in the same boat as you. Right. But my brain is completely fried. Do you, uh, you want to walk us through Iran Contra or 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 keep well, going? I'm so North? sorry. I can I can go down any rabbit hole. <laughs> was it he involved? I think he was. Yeah. Yes. Here's Reagan. Here we go. I hate these guys. I don't I think know, I like right? anyone in this in this picture. Uh, isn't it funny that there's no a drip. guy that Don Regan? Yeah. So and, I, I and Nancy Reagan hated each other. Oh, really? She she was the real president, you guys. Like she really Go was the on. one who was like, "Yo, Ronnie, become Republican. We suck at acting, but we can good. We're good at acting as like politicians." And so <laughs> she could not stand this Don Regan guy wow. who was, I guess, like um, at a like high up position in Reagan's yeah. administration. He wrote a book about how Nancy was the run, like the one pulling the strings. Like they used an astrologer to get all their like decisions made. All right. So Reagan with an R E A and that's how you spell it. This is Don Regan. Yeah. Here's Don Regan. Okay. And she Don didn't like Regan him. worked yeah. for Ronald Reagan. Okay. Yeah. He like, advocated Reaganomics, so, so like a.k.a. the Chicago School of Economics, neoliberalisms, tax cuts as a means to create jobs and stimulate mm-hmm. the production. All right. Yeah, well, and he, that's a weird uh, way he to wrote a whole book about what it was like in the White Reagan White House, and mostly it was about his hatred of uh, Nancy. Started working at Merrill Lynch, CEO. Mm-hmm. And then and then served as as, uh, as Reagan's chief of staff, huh? Yep. All right. 
See, there was a lot of interpersonal drama yeah. happening, which I'm like, isn't that always the case with yeah. every like neoliberal or like right wing like administration where it's like no one gets along? Yeah. Well, we've seen it now with Trump's uh, cabinet too. Like uh, Bill uh, William uh, Barr, or whatever. It's like, oh, he's just lost it, and I'm like, right. really though? Favors, man. They've all now created favors. That? I think. What do you think about that? Like they're all like trading favors to, to get where they've gotten, and when they got the, when they get where they're getting, they've traded so many favors. They're dealing with so many fucking people they don't want to work with, and it gets yeah. ugly. I don't know. Is that Was a terrible it worth read? It? Say it again. Was it worth it? Wasn't worth it, because now you're working with Nazis. Uh, sorry, I'm just that went, that went somewhere else. Um, okay, how about a rank contra affair? I'm I'm very. My details are very vague on this. I'm honestly, yeah. this is one of these things I honestly need to do a little deep dive. Do you, can you give oh, me yeah. like a quick moment of this? Like, how do, how would we explain this in a quick uh, way? So, let's see. To, there was, yeah. um, I'm trying to think, because there was, there was like a, uh, a group that was trying to like fight for like quote unquote freedom yeah. somewhere in like, uh, Oh. Yeah, in the in Nicaragua, and but they were literally like more like fascist adjacent, from like my understanding. And for some reason, Ronald Reagan just liked the idea of this group because they were fighting communism. Iran Contra. I literally just okay, got it. Yep, they wanted to fight communism yeah. in Nicaragua. Yeah, and for, uh, by the way, Nicaragua, uh, good relations with Russia, if I understand correctly. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. So. Okay. And. So he ran into the country. Ronald Reagan was like, "Yo, we gotta help these people because they're fighting. They're fighting communism, and you know, I love to fight communism. I want to destroy it with every fiber of my being." Yeah. And they're like, "Okay, sure, let's do that." But his administration was like, "We really shouldn't get involved in this because it's some other country's business." And of course, um, they were giving them funding in any way possibly they could. Also, giving them you know drugs to sell so they could fund their little passion project of defeating communism yeah but apparently i guess some of the um some people ended up getting kidnapped Uh oh by the nicaraguans like that like contras uh army or whatever and that's where the iron con like iron contra affair starts because they started selling the united states gave them weapons in exchange for those hostages and those weapons got in the hands of like other terrorist organizations. Uh oh. So that's where like Iran comes from. All right. So in in a in a in desperation mm -hmm. to defeat uh, uh, the the uh, comrade ghosty the 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 scare of communism based in objectively yeah. good communism uh, in, in doing that they shat the bed all over the place. And then, yeah. and then, and then, and then they like laid down in the shit and then pointed the shit up to the fan and then, and then the shit hit the fan. And Reagan kept ignoring. He's like, no, he was like Bill Clinton. Like, I did not do this. Yes, I you did. did. Exactly. Like, it, the, and they were trying, I think they were trying to destroy any evidence that connected Reagan to all this. But I mean, <laughs> by the time, uh, Donald wrote his book, it was, uh, I think he wrote his book in like either like 88 or 89 or the early nineties. And, uh, it, I think he detailed uh, the, that whole what happened. And I'm like, all right. I mean, that's a, it, that's a book worth reading. All right. Yeah, there you go. All over I'm sorry. Which book? Script. I'm sorry. You, you mentioned a book, and I, I was looking at this guy's face. Yeah. Um, uh, I think Donald Reagan, uh, he wrote a okay. book about, like, with uh, the situation, how it was like being chief of staff in Reagan's administration. Yeah. And I think he also laid down like, yeah, he was behind the Iran Contra affairs. Like he did it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know, when someone leaves the white house, they have to write a book. Yeah. You gotta keep it going. I mean, if what, it, maybe is that a sign? Is that a sign where they're like, Hey, I didn't get any favors on the way out. I'm writing a book. I'm cashing out. You know, they got uh, probably, they got political capital that they're going to sell via book. Actually, makes yeah. sense in my head now. I'm trying to make sense of the world, Christina. It's I'm very, I'm I'm not I'm not picking up quickly here, but that that sort of made sense. All right, yeah. Iran Contra. I do like it's 
sort of coming together now. It makes sense. Okay. There are probably videos, documentaries that you can watch on stream that yeah, cover this for a sure. lot better because there's really like a lot more detail that I'm giving. You did a good job. Like, like, like I'm summarizing the beginning, the middle, and when shit hit the fan. I, I like. You gave me a way to wrap my head around it, and I'm like, okay, I got it, and we can go deeper down. Maybe they'll make a fucking uh, 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 Gravel Institute video someday, right? Do you watch? Yeah. Yeah. Do you dig the Gravel? Imagine trying to do like a, a one minute left on that. You you want to do a one minute left on this little? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I the offer is definitely the thing, and I've been offering my guests that, and that was that's definitely the the idea as we spoke about beforehand. I think this would be a good minute one a uh, one minute left. Uh, Literally, like what you just said, <laughs> whip, just condense it into about 200 words. Uh, if you want, I can do that and get to work on that. Send you a script. We can bounce it back and forth until we got something we like. And then yeah. if you want, you could record it and I'll edit it. You could be my guest star. Yeah, there we go. That sounds good. Okay. So we just learned, chat about the Iran-Contra uh, where they just fucked, the, fucked up the entire, you know, Looks like a uh, global south, uh, specifically which which countries were they were they fucking in? Uh, uh, Nicaragua. Nicaragua, the contra is there uh, because they hate co- uh, 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 they hate uh, fucking communism so much. They decided to sell arms to Iran, and then those arms ended up in. Actually, do we have g- good examples? What happened with those arms? Where does that go? That's what. Uh, let's go. I think let's keep going. A lot going. of them were you, used. Look, say again. I think I think like. Since they probably got in the hands of like terrorist organizations like in the Middle East or whatnot. All right. So I think those yeah. are definitely being used. Let's figure this out. Let's let's dig down. How about that, huh? Do you like learning on the fly? Is that okay? Oh, it's yeah. like one of my favorite things, as you may know. What happened with these these arms? You like type in what happened to Iran Contra for weapons? <laughs> I'm honestly gonna type in that into Google. You know they can trace it, and they—I bet there's a lot of shit that we don't, that we will never know. They won't let us know what happened exactly with those guns. Chat, is there anyone in chat who's got an answer on this? I'm looking at you. Yeah, chat's really smart. Chat, I got some fucking geniuses in chat right now. All right. From 10 minutes back, I got some comments. Yeah. And also the CIA bought drugs from U.S. backed rebels in Central America, as we talked about, in order to fund them. Yep. Yep. That's why I was that missing was the CIA. Like, yep. It's it's like a, a couple of different things going on at once. They're doing they're like juggling so many th- like plates. And of course, they're going yeah, to drop some. That you might have to do like, like, like the beginning of the Iron Contra affair in one, and then like that, and then like how it ties to the crack epidemic in another one, because that's just like there's just that whole situation yeah. just created so many other like situations that you just can't even like fathom. I'm having trouble fathoming, right? It's incredible. What a what a wild time. What an awful. It's just like, and people are like, oh, he's the best. I love Reagan. Let's go, Wilson. Wilson? That's his middle name. Oh right. What 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 is this? Let's go, Wilson. Was that like a little a thing? Is that a phrase? Someone for him? actually comment. I think I think it was uh, yeah. Jeff of Good Morning uh, Comrades. Yeah. He, he he posted that in chat, and I'm like, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Wait, who's Oliver? All right, hold on. Here's here's a video someone just sent me. I, let me know if you can't hear this. Wait, who's Oliver North? What? I can't believe you kids don't know about the great patriot Ollie North. (laughs) In the 80s, there was Cold War drama. We fought the commies inside Nicaragua. Our friends were the Contras. Freedom was their mantra, so we sent them lots of money for guns and landmines. (laughs) Sorry, sorry, say that again. The, uh, the commie group was called Sandinistas, which is why a lot of people call themselves Sandernistas, like Sandernistas. Bernie Sanders. Yeah, there it is. Can, everyone's connecting the dots here. Just because they moved a teeny bit of blow. 
But then a hero came forth, his name was Oliver North. <laughs> he and Reagan went around the sissy congress. Holly North, Holly North. <laughs> you see, North secretly sold missiles to a harmless <laughs> country called Iran that would always be a grateful ally. Then he gave the profits to the Contras. Genius! But the sales Kitten. were uncovered oh. by the press. <laughs> Reagan and North well, began to stress. Yay. Cause what they did was technically high treason. <laughs> but it was totally justified. North volunteered Jesus. to take the blame. To save Reagan from prison rape shame. The truth he did bury with his hot secretary. Oh. Thanks to her huh? shredder. He got all totally scot free. Holly North, Holly North. He's a soldier and a hero <laughs> and a novelist. And now he's <laughs> on Fox News. Crap, that's the end. <gasps> wow, I just learned while I was being entertained. That's the way to do it. Oh my god, I hit the wrong button. Let me transition back here. That was, um, that's what that it feels like. And, I know. And also informative. I honestly feel like shit after watching that because that's what I'm trying to do in my stream, and I just, I'm not coming close. I'm not. I'm just one person though. Okay, chat. Hey, you, you're doing your best. <laughs> I can't even breathe. <laughs> I'll be okay. Seriously, I just had a little chest. I'll be all right. Okay. Um, that was very funny. Thank you for dropping that naze zero. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. With with my newfound um, uh, uh, perspective, well, let's just say that really slapped. Hilarious. Yeah. Um, okay. We support the Sandinistas here. We for sure. Um, we do. I'm wondering. I, if, like, there was a Facebook group yeah. called the Sandernistas, and I always kept, oh. kept thinking, where did that come from? And then when I was watching the video about the uh, yep. about Reagan and this, you know, situation, I was like, oh, because they're a leftist organization, yep. so taking the name as Bernie Sanders, Sandernistas. Oh, it all makes sense now. Um, building international solidarity at the same time, too. Pretty based. Yeah. Oh. Fuck yeah. We're Frankie agrees. Frankie is very good. Let's take a peek at Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Hi, Dad. Oh, my gosh. What a sweetie pie. Yeah. I He's love my streaming Frankie. partner. He, people come to watch him, not me at this point. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's just, just, just to the truth. It's like, well, that's, yeah, uh, like, they're, they're taking like their stream over. People watch for the pets. Yep. I'm just, I'm in, I'm in the background now. Yep. Very good. Um, that's a very good cat. Uh, chat, I wondered if we were able to find out what happened with those arms. Where do they go? Like, what terrorisms do they do with them? Here's a fun one I'm, I'm being told. Uh, no, and that's okay. Like, I, I'm super stoked to, like, go down the rabbit hole. When has the CIA ever done anything worthwhile and not wasteful? I've been asking that for a little while. I can't figure anything out. When have they done anything good? Never. What am I reading here? CIA involvement in contra cocaine trafficking. Okay, so this is how I can go down that rabbit hole. I'm going to mm -hmm. save that until after our stream because that uh, that will give me something else to do unless you want to go down yeah. it now. Um, I'm glad I talked about this. Yeah, this is really cool. I mean, bad, but cool to talk about. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's I mean, disgusting. I mean, horrible, you know, uh, implications and, like, horrible, like, like, Basically, again, this whole situation, Ronald Reagan as, as president, just resulted in so much damage that's lasted 40 years. 40 years. Cocaine's yeah, 40 a hell of a drug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At first, yeah. I thought you were like implying I'm on coke, and I'm like, I've never done coke. That is not my style. I'm more of a, more of like a, you know, chill, chill it out. With the I'm weed an edibles gal myself. Until it's like later in the day and then I drink way too much. There's something wrong with me. It's probably my... I'm just going to blame it on my Irish heritage. Anyways. Blame it on the a a a a you, alcohol. Yes, I know. I, I can't blame it on that. But I definitely make bad choices with it. Hey. Hey. 
You said you like edibles. What's your favorite? Go. Uh, I like anything that looks like cookies. Nice. Like I get stuff from like California every now and then, oh. or my sister brings stuff from Jersey. She makes a. She gets me like the little like nuggets. Cool. They're so good. Wait, you're in California. Don't dox yourself. But did you say that? No. Okay. I'm sorry. Where I get are you? Stuff from California. Nice. Okay. You don't have to tell me. Okay. You said you're where? Did, <laughs> I totally missed that. You did you say? I don't want. I don't want to force you to say. But did you say? I, I don't. I feel stupid right now because I am all the time. I I don't live in California. Okay. I wish I did. I wish I lived in New York or California. Any okay. place that has more of a youthful environment. I live in a place that retirees come to, and it's just. Yeah. All the young people leave, and I'm like, no. You don't like the young people. I mean, I love the young people. I'm like, stop leaving. With their with their rock'em sock'em robots and their makeout parties. <laughs> um. Yeah. Stay away. They're too loud. Is that the thing? Mm. They smell. Well, it's 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 entertaining going downtown and seeing all the boomers. Like a lot of people who moved down here are rich liberals, surprisingly, or or like okay. rich centrists who like horses. <laughs> so and golf. And so <laughs> going out downtown and seeing them just let loose is always entertaining. Six. It sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. We got we got Every a chocolate Thursday, bar. They have some downtown happening for the band and whatnot. Chocolate bars. Oh yeah, chocolate bars are pretty good. Also, nerds ropes are good too. Oh yeah, that sounds Edibles, cool. Like, mm-hmm. I'm in. I'll take two, please. Is there anyone in chat? Did we get down to the bottom of this? What happened with those arms? Where did they end up doing things? Iranian Jewish arms dealer. Jesus, life is a movie. <laughs> It's a mystery, that's for sure. Stop it. He's, he's trying to get into the mic. Do the Sandinistas have a flag? Mmm. Yeah, let's figure this out, huh? I like flags. They have a flag, I bet it's nice. Sandinistas. We're going to rate it, no matter what. We don't have to like Ooh. it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everyone pump the brakes here. <laughs> what? Here, no. But Dan, I'm hearing them saying, but Dan, but Dan, no. The red and the black are not. Dude, if they're based. Oh, man. Uh oh. Everyone, pause. Pump the brakes here. Pump the brakes. This would be hilarious. If this is true, is it the same as the. Um. going to be really funny. I don't uh, know if it's red on top or black on top. <laughs> well, also, too, like, everyone's stealing each other's flag yeah, designs Yeah, this is sort of the truth. Like, it's Uh-oh, guys. so annoying. Like, you could come, there's t- no, different colors, no. different shades. <laughs> no! It is actually the same as uh, uh, the red and the black from the uh, Ukrainians. That's funny. From the, the Bandera oh, no. people. Stop stealing but, good shit. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing. I don't think... I, we cannot... If, if I find out it's dis, based on that, I'm going to lose my mind, dude. I'm going to lose my mind. That fucking flag. I'm going to be so mad at them. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if anyone has their... has an idea about that. It's, it's got the same colors. That'd suck. It's like, no, you picked the wrong flag. All right. You um, could have picked like a, a regular old Nazi flag, but you can't fly that flag anywhere, so they have to yeah. come up with their own flags, and they have to steal designs from decent flags to, mm, have to ruin everything. Right, Frankie? Yeah. I want to go down this rabbit hole, but I don't think now's a good time. i got to figure out what inspired that flag. Whoever came up with it, I'm, drew, I'm going nuts over here. Um, flags are have been really revealing for me. I'm trying not to talk about Ukraine too much, so I won't, but really quickly I've noticed like lots of f- flags and I, I'm, I'm worried that people are, are being seen in front of flags that they don't want to be seen with. I'll, I'll just leave it at that because I'm really yeah. trying not to talk about Ukraine too much. Anyways. 
The, the politics tag on Twitch exploded. I'm like, wow, I've never seen this many people in the Did politics it. tag. I'll switch to and politics. Were, and people were like, oh, it was the same on January 6th. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's true, too. Ew. Oh, gosh. I guess I'm tapping into it. What are you going to do? I got to pay my fucking bills. So I just hit politics. I usually switch back like politics yeah. and just chatting. I, I did it once. And I was like, oh, God, I'm getting, like, stupid questions from people who just joined Twitch. Like, why oh. should I pay you? And I'm like, you don't have to, but, like, it's yeah. an option. Yeah. People do this. They're like, yeah, but there are people better than you. I'm like, I know there are people better than me. <laughs> than me. Like, why do you think you're going to be hurting my feelings? Like, I know. That's fucked up. Like, it's, it's worse. Like, There's people every, worse. Like, we've heard every insult in the book. You can't, you can't, like, yeah. you can't get us. Like, I'm just saying. You can't get me. You can't hurt me. I'm just that one just makes no sense. Self-deprecation is is key. Oh yeah, um, uh, I'm the but I'm the worst at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, today we're weird. gonna have some homemade <laughs> pie, pizza pie. You're you're making homemade pie. Well, the, uh, my pizza. uncle is making homemade Federici style pizza, which is like a place in New Jersey that oh. we all love. And he knows how to make like the pizza exactly like thin crust, oh. yet like foldable and like thin yeah. and flimsy. It's, like it's yeah. all perfect. Oh, I, OK. I'm in Chicago. You know me and the, you, you, you may know about the, the deep dish over here. Are you casserole. streaming right now, by the way? Oh, just, huh? Casserole. casserole. Get out of here. Are you streaming right now? Uh, Christina, are you streaming right now? I'm not. I was just curious. I, I had no idea. I'm going to um, be heading out soon anyway. Cool. Like, at like 3 o'clock or whatever yeah? to go out. Okay. Um, so, you know, we got the deep dish. You call it casserole. I do like the deep dish, but for to be honest, some of my favorite shit is... I actually like the coal fire style pizza from like uh, uh, like New Jersey, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's actually my favorite pizza, other than the deep dish, which I think is... Maybe not my favorite. Anyways, um, I fucking love pizza. Yeah. But you said it's like if what kind of style? Federici's is what kind of what does that mean? Federici's. It's an Italian <laughs> restaurant. It's like anyone who's like from like central New Jersey, they know fed. Like I actually have people in chat who are like, yeah, I work outside of Freehold. I know oh. where Federici's is. I know where Jersey Freeze is because Bruce Springsteen is from Freehold, okay. and my mom would serve him food. Yeah. At Jersey Freeze, not realizing it was him until it was too late. Oh. Oh yeah, he's he's a he's a family acquaintance. Like, um, my dad was friends with his cousin. He got to watch Bruce play at his cousin's uh, graduation party back in like the seventies. Uh, my dad got drunk one time, was talking to this dude, and my uncle was like, "Oh, you were talking to Bruce for like an hour." So, come on. Jeez. Come with us. Yeah. He's Nate. a really he's a, he's a decent guy. Like I had a cousin oh. who went to went to high school with him too. So, hey. um, Nyes says found this article on weapons proliferate, uh, proliferation in South America. Oh, as in all all the arms that flooded into to Latin America. U.S. did it. <laughs> uh, um. Time out. So we sold arms to Iran to fund the arms that we were giving. Is that right? Did, did I just piece that together? I'm sorry. I'm literally. That pretty not... much kind of. But we did it for hostages too. Like okay, we and to hostages. Free hostages. Okay. There it is. There it is. They okay. They demanded weapons. I felt like okay. That makes sense now. Okay. Yeah. Let me read this. Uh, if you don't mind, we could read a bit of this together. Stop me. Pause me. Let me know if we should stop if we're not getting anything out of the small arms, gun violence, present, the most dramatic threat, blah, 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 in Latin America and Caribbean after decades of uncontrolled proliferation. At least 45 million to 80 million small arms and light weapons. Mother fuck. Jesus. I don't think they should be doing that, personally. I don't like that. No. Like, like, give, like, why weapons? Like, why do yeah. people always want, I'm like, give me money if I'm holding people hostage. <laughs> Yeah. Like, that's all I want. Money. But now it, it has to be, like, material items, like guns and tanks and shit like that. Like, no. Fuck that. Did you say if you were taking people hostage? <laughs> yeah, I just want money. Just give me money. I'll set these people free. 
You got plans over here, making me ner nervous. <laughs> like, wow. Well, 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 Dan, you had Christina on your stream, and she put, took people hostage. Um, and she was obviously planning on your stream. Okay, uh, you're making me uncomfortable. Gunshots kill between seventy three thousand and ninety thousand people each year in Latin America. For reference, they kill about thirty thousand in this country. That's a lot. Dear God. <sighs> Guns are the leading cause of death among Latin Americans between 15 and 44. And I think that's actually similar here in the United States, not to dismiss or, or, or minimize. Small okay. arms flooded during the Cold War, significantly during the Central American Civil Wars of the 80s. Although diverse motivations, channels, and suppliers have had their hand in the proliferation, the Cold War and its legacies bear the most responsibility. Both the U.S. and Soviet Union supplied their Latin American allies with mass quantities of weapons through proxy arms dealers. The Soviets and their Warsaw Pact allies sent weapons to Cuba. Awesome. Which then passed them to the Sandinistas in Nicaragua. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah. Get me, get, commies helping each other out. In response, not, not to say that what they, all everything they did was awesome. I don't love war crimes and if anyone, anyone did a war crime, I'm just saying I'm not into that, if they did. In response, the U.S. often provided its Central American allies like the counter-revolutionary Nicaraguan Contras with Soviet weaponry, most notably the AK-47, in order to maintain official deniability of its involvement in the conflicts. He compa Reagan compared the Contras what? to the Founding Fathers, and I'm like, oh... What's I going on, Russ? that Ross? might be a bit of a stretch. What's the backstory here? Someone's, someone's, it says someone warned Sam Cedar. What's the backstory here? You know what, uh -oh. what does that mean, Christina? Someone warned Sam Cedar. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, oh, God. What? Okay, so Cole's going to have his dad on tonight. Sam Cedar, his dad. And I guess uh, people are still kind of aware of the fact that I asked, that I've been trying to ask him to marry me. So this yeah. is like my chance to do it in chat later tonight. Oh, my God. Because it's, wait a minute, it's Cole's birthday today. <gasps> we got to wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> what a fucking nightmare. What a fucking dream boat, though, am I right? <laughs> Handsome guy. He's like, you don't have to pay 39 years of child support. And I'm like, oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. We'll have to break that down later. Okay. Incredible. Rocking the man pony soon? I think maybe. It's just like getting in my face and I want it not. I think that's Get the that part that bugs me the most. There's a little bit in there. Yeah. Uh, you think you're looking at the beginning of the long hair arc. Maybe. Who knows what happens here? There we go. Longest it's been in a long time. Um, let's read on here um, and try to share with the people. Uh, in response, this, the U.S. often provided to Central American allies the counter-revolutionary Nicaraguan Contras with Soviet weaponry. Uh, what? They, did, they didn't care where they got AKs. their weapons from as long as they got weapons. <laughs> Incredible. In order to maintain deniability of his involvement in the conflicts. Oh, they're like, see, there's no U.S. guns there. We didn't have anything to do with it. So if anyone who has eyeballs, you can't call us. It's okay. That's stupid. The U.S. military allegedly maintained warehouses of Soviet bloc weapons distributed throughout the region. This is incredible. U.S. also used third countries like Israel to supply the Contras. I'm losing my mind. In El Salvador, the... Farabundo. Man, I knew they did their dirty work, but I didn't know they did it all the way over here. Uh, or, uh, or, Israel. Yeah, right. Uh, Farabundo Marti National Liberation Front. The NL, NLF National Liberation Front? Is that what this, I don't know what to call this. Is... The th that's, this is the group. It's the San Anistas. Yeah? No, this SFS. Maybe I'm, I'm being stupid. Uh, they received AK-47s from the Honduran military, which had raided the CIA's Nicaraguan supplies. <laughs> Caches of Cold War origin weapons are still being found in Latin America. Holy moly. You hear that, Yoshi? Still? Damn. I'm losing my mind. Today, most legal weapons in Latin America come from the U.S., Europe, or, uh, or the small but growing regional arms industry because of the international small arms trade. Lacks full transparency and a significant portion of the trade is illicit. It's difficult to know the types and estimate of the quantities of weapons the Latin, uh, that Latin American countries import, according to the data provided by the blah, blah, blah. In 2015 and 2005, Latin America legally imported at least $175 million worth of small arms and light weapons, as well as ammunition and spare parts. That's a lot of guns. Oof. It's a Oof. lot of... $175 million? It's a lot of guns. Yeah, that's... Oof. 
Yeah, U.S. was the main supplier to the region, exporting 50 million worth of these weapons. Uh, other, well, other major suppliers include Belgium, the Czech Republic, Germany, Israel, Italy, Russia, South Africa, and Spain. Same 2005 data reveals that the mass, vast majority of the $29 million worth of U.S. small arms flowing to South America went to Colombia. Mexico imported $10 million worth, almost as much as the small arms that Central America and the Caribbean imported combined. Right, Yoshi? Yep. She says meow. I mean, this is this is like because the seventies, well, the fifties or seventies is when all the coups were happening too. In so many different regions, especially like in South America. Scott, I'm really sorry. I got I'm distracted by a loud, obnoxious cat. It's okay. Can you say that again to me, into my chat? Oh well, I, I was saying up. like how, oh. um, like you know. All this is happening right after, like, for 20 years, there's been, like, coup after coup after coup happening, especially in, like, South American countries and Central American countries. Yeah. And also Middle Eastern countries, because the U.S., we try to bring democracy everywhere. 2014, Ukraine. Damn it. I said I wasn't going to talk about it. Okay. All right. Take a shot every time you say Ukraine. (sighs) I'll be fucking drunk. (laughs) <laughs> get me sloppy drunk uh yoshi go go chill somewhere oh my god you are losing your mind yoshi's like oh He's i out, want to be out of control. seen go. i want to see christina get out of here bye-bye <laughs> thank you ghost okay venezuela let's keep reading on venezuela meanwhile spent 10 million on small arms and other weapons from belgium thanks belgium venezuela also made a controversial purchase of a hundred thousand ak-47s Worth about four million from Russia, so that's how that's what you get for four million, a hundred thousand AK forty sevens. Do the maths. Come on, let's do this. Holy <laughs> shit, dude! Like how much per AK forty seven? Four million divided by. Jesus you, Christ. So going here in twenty oh five. We're look. Hold on. Reading, getting smarter, getting smarter. All right, so in 2005, they say they were legally importing at least $175, uh, 175 million worth of small and light weapons. U.S. main supplier, 50 million. So 50 million. So 50 divided by so four times 100,000. Right? So many weapons, so many numbers. 50 divided by 4? Am I doing all right? Oh, I lost it. <laughs> it would be you know, like 12 and a half. All right, and then you take that. Is that right? And then you hit times 100,000. And then you get $1.25 million worth of AK-47s. There you go. Something like that. That's not, that seems right. Chat, that seems right. Okay. It's a lot of guns, and of course we don't know they were all AK-47s, but that gives you uh, an idea of the scale. Yeah. Oh, man. I wonder what other kinds of guns they were like using down there. Uh, Does it look like Rambo shit or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, there's so, so many numbers. Like, oh, this country gave these we- this amount of weapons to this country, and this country gave this amount of weapons to that South American... Like, damn, yeah. it's... Imagine how much money, could, all that money could be used for, like, good things. Right. Snacks. Um, edibles. Healthcare. Something. Oh, healthcare. You know? right. Yeah. For sure. Small arms. All right. So this is how, generally speaking, folks, this is, like, how arms get out there into the world. Like, this is one of the ways that massive amounts of arms end up into the hands of people that, you know, maybe shouldn't happen. Um, yeah. and, and we'll put it that way. Yeah. Arms. Are you a gun person? Do you like guns? Uh, I'm not really a gun yeah. person, but, Same. like, I respect people who do yeah, have, sure. have guns. Yeah. I was wondering if you like you go shooting or anything. I think that would no, honestly be fun. I'm too of a girly girl that goes shooting. All right. Though I think it's funny when they make pink rifles for girls. I'm like, you kidding me, right? <laughs> that's like That's like the rainbow tanks. Or like liberals, rainbow like bombs. Like, come on now, seriously, ser- seriously, NRA. 
Yeah. You don't think you glamorize guns just like m- music and violence and video games and movies mm-hmm. do? Okay. Look at that. I actually never sort of made that connection like that. Interesting. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. you make pink rifles for like seven year old girls. Like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. They make guns seem cool too. But now it's the damn liberals and their godless music and their violent video games. Well, um, someone's suggesting we go geocaching, looking for uh, CIA weapons caches left behind. Okay. <laughs> That'll be fun. We should do that sometime. Yeah. What do you, uh, what oh, do you get it? Funny. In? Please. Uh, Christina, I think we did a bad job of introducing you as in we, as in me. And so let's talk about that. I'm really, I didn't, uh, th- it just felt like I was talking to a friend and it just sort of, um, happened so nicely oh. that, 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 that the conversation fell into place. Let's take a moment and go back uh, into what I meant to do, which is introduce you to uh, my audience who may not know who you are and what you do on your stream. I will go ahead and uh, put the links to your stuff into the chat and you can feel free to tell me about those. Christina. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. Sorry about, uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> wubba, wubba, wubba. Excuse me. Portside Cats is in the house. Welcome in. Um, I can't, that is the most absurd thing in the world. That's their walk-on sound. I'm really upset with myself right now. Anyways, woke up your cats, Nasai. I'm really sorry if you're on the speakers. Unbelievable. That is really too loud. We got to figure that out. Okay. Um, the headphones. Folks, I'm poor side. We might have to pick something else. <laughs> that is a funny bit. At least it doesn't say something like, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Anyways, um, uh, here's the deal. Let's go ahead and give you a chance, Christina, to uh, let folks know uh, what you do uh, on your channel and, and, and all the places where people can find you on the old series of tubes on the interwebs. Okay, so yes, my name is Christina. I stream politics, pop culture, movies, music, mental health on Twitch, uh, Fridays through Mondays, 7 a.m. to like 3 p.m. So I'm, I'm always busy. But yeah, you can find me on Insta. Like, all my socials are on Christina, so you can find me on... Obviously, Twitch. I'm Christina. Twitter, Instagram, you name it. I'm TikTok. I'm not even on really TikTok that well, but uh, yeah, Uh, I try to have a very chill stream as well. Very loving, accepting community. I know that I'm still new-ish, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Trying. Also, you get to see my cat Frankie all the time because he needs to be seen all the time on stream. Trying. I think you're doing great. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it, Peter. You're flying. <laughs> um, very good. And when and got all the links for you in the, there. Then they're in the chat. Excuse me. Hold on one second. We'll do it live. No. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. We're doing it live. I'll write it and we'll Who do hit the it button? Live. Tech Fucking guy. Thing sucks. Love your Excuse face. me. Love your face. Okay. So, Christina, we got a couple minutes left. I I, I don't want to keep you too long. Maybe we'll shoot for the top of the hour here, or maybe a couple minutes or whatever. Um. Yo, like, what are you getting into? When do, when do you stream? When's your schedule? Did you mention that? Uh, I stream Fridays through Mondays, like, 7 a.m. to, like, 3 p.m. Like, I'm I'm an early bird, so yeah. I I like to talk about everything because I know people don't want to just talk about politics because I know so many people are, like, doomer-pilled now, and I understand that. So I'm like, come to my stream where we can, like, watch videos and, like, sit and chat about yeah. stuff, show Frankie. Yeah. Uh, also in my discord, we watch, we do like Saturday night at the movies. Like we have, we have a fun time on my stream. I get a lot of uh, interesting characters that come in and, you know, say silly stuff. And I'm like, you know what? You're allowed to say silly stuff. You can say silly things in Christina's chat. You you cannot say silly things in my chat. I'm going to (laughs) go. I got to add. I gotta add a like, graphics as long to this. It's just about yourself. It's it's fine. Like you know, as long as it's like self awareness. But like no, you know, I'm want, I still want my community to be like a safe space. You know, and uh, but we have fun. Surprisingly, like people are like, "Damn, Christina, how do you do it?" And I'm like, "I don't know how." I, like people think I actually like prepare my streams, and I'm like, "No, <laughs> I don't prepare." Like I'm like, "Okay, let's watch this." dark history video about Bailey Syrian and learn about, you know, the um, syphilis experimentation on, you know, black men that happened. 
uh, or, you know, watch this video about Princess Diana, Prince Charles's, you know, marriage and how that failed. Like, learn about how Priscilla Presley was groomed by Elvis. Like, we learn about, like, so many different things. And uh, people are like, I would never thought of that. And I'm like, good. That's, you know, as long as you learn something new. Cock push-ups? You know, that's good. <laughs> I, I didn't turn my buttons off before the stream and my chat's abusing it. <laughs> keep pressing those buttons, guys. Oh, my God. I might just keep leaving them on. I can. I, I should add buttons to my guest. But but all the buttons are are like they're sort of mean. Like I don't I don't want them fucking with you. If they're fucking with yeah. anyone, they should fuck with me, I guess. Um, like this. Here's a freebie, chat. Ow. <laughs> yeah, may, we could think of guest spe specific buttons. What should what should we do, chat? What would it be? I don't want you to be able to punch my guest. That's not allowed. No. Like only nice things, like snacks, cookies. Oh my God! It's like Anna Kasparian saying, "No cookies for you." I need to make that into like a soundbite. Are you so not bad. Entertained? Are you not entertained? Hey, lately S Skype's been doing this funny sound. It sounds like a ratchety no. sound. No! I hear, I hear a little bit of it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's the whole converse. I think it was going back and forth, I guess. I have no idea where that's coming from. All right, I well. I hear it now. <laughs> yeah, it went away. It goes for like five seconds. It's like, right? It's the weirdest sound. Chat, do you hear that too? What is that? He, he keeps happening on my Skype conversations. I might have to use something else. Fucking shit. Zoom, perhaps? Or even try to do like Discord? Um, I like. Uh, I'll tell you why I use Skype. Yeah. Everyone always asks because it's like, why Skype, right? I know. It's stupid. What is this, 1994? When do they have Skype? I have no idea. Um, it's, it's because it gives me what's called an NDI video feed, and NDI is like this. It's like an individual video feed. It gets, it's really easy to work on my end, is, what, is, is uh, yeah. effectively what that I means. I use uh, Zoom for like my one-on-one -on -one conversations yeah. for Patreon, which we got to do. Okay. Let's, let's do it. I got to schedule... People. Reach I out. Got, I'm, interview, I'm, I'm interviewing porn stars. I'm interviewing nice. activists. I'm interviewing people that are running for, you know, like pop, like state house and whatnot. So yeah. I got an entertainer. So I got a whole list of different people. Um, Diversify the content. Yeah. Get us get, 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 you know, get one of those streamers. People love streamers. Did you know that they're very well looked up to in society? Oh yeah. Um, all right, I got Ravana booked, so we're good. Nice. Uh, friend of the stream, we had Ravana a couple days ago. Um, one of the few people I've met IRL. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because you guys like live in the same area. No fair. You know, life's not fair. But it should be fairer. Can we agree? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Christina, we got a couple minutes left. I uh, One thing that I'd, uh, I'd like to do... Have we had you on before? Am I freaking tripping? Yeah, you had me on before. Makes sense. Then I'm not going to ask you that last question. I must have been fucking drunk when we talked because this is slipping my mind. Uh, but like some things are definitely coming back. So I'm really sorry. I'm fucking confused right now. I'm always confused. <laughs> we've, I'm like, wait, we've talked before. This feels very comfortable. <laughs> so what I'm not going to do is have you go through the whole rigmarole, the tap dance of like your, your pathway left. But... Uh, we got a couple minutes left, I guess. Like, what do you want to get into? I wonder what uh, you think you're going to be getting into on your stream today, if, if you had any plan at all. I know you said you don't plan anything, anything on your mind. Uh, well, I'm not planning on streaming today because I'm, I'm going out to my, my grandmother's. But, like, Friday, I know I'm, if Bailey Saren has a new Dark History video, we're definitely going to watch and go over that. Um, dark History. Just learn. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Dark History. Her podcast is very informative. I highly recommend it. If okay. you know her from her Murder Mystery Makeup Mondays, she's been doing a Dark History podcast where she breaks down like like stuff that we don't know, like the DuPont water poisoning, um, how rock and roll was originally started, like a whole yeah. bunch of like stories. Uh, also how Dodger Stadium was founded. Basically, it's oh. on stolen land like a whole Ooh. like i highly recommend this podcast it's All entertaining right. informative uh she went over the trail of tears andrew jackson um 
she went over the Tuskegee uh, experimentation that happened. She went over, uh, oh, how Puerto Rican women were used as guinea pigs for birth control. Whoa. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. A whole lot of uh, dark stuff. Also, how pride was formed. Um, yeah. But she went over, she's, she's gone over a lot of interesting things. Uh, also, that Thomas Edison might have killed a guy. Like, oh, also, too, he stole, like, everyone. Like, he took credit for, like, everyone's invention that yeah. he perfected, but he still shouldn't get all the credit for it. What a dirtbag. Yeah, so, very informative podcast. She releases it on, on her YouTube channel every Thursday evening. Yeah. So, I watch it, like, every Friday morning. You're, are you big into podcasts, or is that, like, the one you listen to? I mean, I, do, I like some, like, I like yeah. w- listen to, like, the It's Always Sunny fo- uh, podcast. Who's on that? Because I love It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Of course. I sort of, is that new? That one's new, right? Yeah, that podcast is new. I think it's only, like, a, a year or two old. I think oh. they started doing it during the pandemic. Actually, older than I realized. Um, reminds me of uh, of the one with the guys from Arrested Development. Seems like a lot of people are doing that. I didn't realize that. Um, who, yeah, who, who, Star- which character? The podcaster pipeline, it's kind of, it's getting a little out of hand. It's a very, uh, it's a crowded market, (laughs) crowded podcast market. Excuse me. Who's on that show? Uh, Uh, Charlie Day, Glenn Howerton, uh, Rob McElhaney, and Caitlin Olson, and Dan DeVito, of course. Pretty much the whole gang. The whole gang. But yeah, they make, I think like the guy, the, the three yeah. guys do okay. it, but like Caitlin and Dan DeVito make appearances on they it. They come by. So it's with these three. They're the main three. All right. Yep. They've been doing this 22 episodes. So maybe like one a week. Okay. Uh, funny. Good. They're funny. They're like, I, I, can I imagine they're s- sort of similar to, you know, to the, uh, the dynamic in the show? Like, or is yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> they're just off the wall. Ah, uh, all right. I'm in. I think I need a podcast. I need something. I can't read fiction. You know, it's just not doing yeah. it for me. I, 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 I'm kind of the same way. I've always been like a nonfiction person. Like I mm-hmm. like learning about like the Titanic and all that mm-hmm. stuff growing up. And uh, yeah, I just I'm just not a big like fiction person. Yeah. Fiction. Man, I got Dune. I try to read Dune. I'm like, I'm dying over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Christina, uh, it's top of the hour here, and I, I feel like this is a good time to uh, to go ahead and let you go, but I want to let you know how much I appreciate getting to hang out with you. We got to do this again, and uh, and yes. uh, y- 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 you're a returning champion this time. Now now we know, um, and uh, would love to have you back as maybe one of my more returningest champions. We'll, we'll, we'll just keep chit chat. And I like, I like the little vibe we got going here. Um, yeah. okay. So the all next time, chill, all vibes, all chill, all vibes, all the time. Let's fucking go. Right. C- yep. c- could you please remind me one more time and, and my chat the next time that you stream or maybe that you uh, think you might, I'll be streaming this Friday mm-hmm. uh, morning, 7 a.m. Eastern to 3 p.m. Eastern. 7 a.m. to 3 Eastern. Awesome. So there's the link chat. Let's give um Christina a follow. Give them your love. Thank you so much, Christina. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Yeah, you too. Solidarity. We'll see you. Peace now. All right. Hey. Folks, that was Christina.